OK, I'm told now we can go to, we've made a connection to Cardiff. Our correspondent, Harry Fears there. Hi there, Harry. A lot of eyes on Wales there. OK, been a day of grandstanding and announcements. Take us through the highlights, please. Yes, well, this is the first day of the two-day NATO summit in South Wales. I am now just metres away from Cardiff Castle, while some of the most high-profile leaders have been arriving just uh, in the last few moments. Uh, this is all in the context of angry demonstrations here in Cardiff and earlier today in Newport as well. The protesters are angry at NATO in general. But what's been coming out of the summit today is also highly significant. We've seen direct allegations against Russia from the Secretary General of NATO, Anders Rasmussen. He has explicitly uh, called out Russia, uh, alleging that Russian boots have been on the ground. Uh, this is among uh, the Ukraine turmoil. Now, we've also heard uh, a clarification statement from the French President Hollande uh, with regard to his statements earlier yesterday about the suspension of this warship transfer, this business deal back from 2011, this political move that France took against Russia. He has been saying that this political move um, will continue, uh, the suspension, until the conditions on the ground in Ukraine are met. His conditions are a ceasefire uh, and a political agreement. Now, also coming out of the summit and its sidelines today is also the White House, the USA, saying that they are ready to push for more sanctions against Russia by the end of this week. Another significant snippet is that there has been a pledge for 15 million euros from NATO uh, to Ukraine directly for both lethal and non-lethal weaponry. So, many of the protesters here on the ground are asking the question, what is the purpose of NATO in 2014? Certainly these leaders, the Secretary General of NATO, the British and the Americans, are trying to make clear their point of view, which is that NATO NATO is involving itself in the Ukraine crisis. To keep the Russians out, the Americans in, and the Germans down. That was NATO's purpose when it was founded in 1949, in the words of its first Secretary General. After the Soviet Union disappeared, you know, they lost their enemy, and there was a real issue about whether NATO had any purpose at all. So with little else to keep it busy, NATO went on a recruitment and fundraising drive to the east, and making its presence felt in countries far and wide. Now, though, the alliance thinks it's found a hook. The months-long turmoil in Ukraine the prime focus of its upcoming gathering in Wales. I expect it to be a crucial summit in NATO's history. We will agree a readiness action plan to make NATO more agile than ever. So is keeping itself employed now the key priority? NATO was founded in order to promote the Cold War. NATO should have shut up shop in 1990 at the end of the Warsaw Pact. It didn't. It then cast around for things to do. And since then, we've had Afghanistan, we've had Libya. And Eastern Europe is next, a bolstered presence based on British and American support. We must also use the summit to ensure that NATO is prepared to respond swiftly to any threat against any ally including with little warning. That means a multinational, high readiness force that can deploy quickly on exercises in the territory of an ally that feels threatened. But there are divisions on how far they should go. Germany, Italy and Spain, among others, are thought to oppose taking measures that could be read as provocative to Russia. NATO expansion uh, has gone too far. It should never have mentioned Georgia, never have mentioned Ukraine. Obviously that concerned Russia just as if the Canada and Mexico had started to join an anti-US alliance, the US would be worried. So primed with a new purpose, the alliance is back to business. With imposing security fencing surrounding Cardiff Castle, where the delegates will meet, security preparations are bound to inconvenience locals going about their business. But what goes on inside those meetings is a much greater concern. Given the resurgent possibility of expansion into Eastern Europe, 
anti-NATO protesters hope that the summit won't be the launch pad to a dangerous confrontation. Harry Fear, RT, Wales.